Hey guys, it's uh, Ducky here, and uh, I'm bringing you something that's really natural for us: um, search and destroy on high rise. Um, search and destroy, I say, is natural for us because um, I used to play COD 4 Pro mod, and if you don't know what Pro mod is, it's basically search and destroy where everyone has the same um, perks as such. It, on COD 4, it was bandolier, stopping power, and steady aim. Um, and basically, I used to be in a clan where we just played pro mod and pro mod matches only, so it's really quite fun for me to play. Um, I'm using marathon stopping power and ninja um, with a title on silence. Marathon because I'm more of a rushing type on search and destroy. I like to get into a spot where I know they're going to go to and just wait for them to come past and get the kills. Stopping power because it's soft core and it's just quicker to kill. Ninja so I can use my headphones and detect when people detect and know where people are around me. Um on this map I tend to stay around A because A you can really see more of the map than you could at B because B is really open. Um You'll notice that I'm not running through the window that everyone shoots through. That's because I don't want to get hit by the snipers shooting across the map. Um, I throw a nade to that window most of the time because people would normally run through the that corridor bit into that window. Um, I also do the same coming out on the uh, attacking side towards the window I run through. I think I get early one kill doing that this time in this round. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm watching that window and the underneath passage and uh, I get really unlucky here. I hear a guy coming but he has Ranger Akimbo and it's basically just got the Ranger of Spaz 12 which is ridiculous because it's a tiny gun. Um, the reason I'm using... Uh, I've told about my Fernanda. Um The three perks I would actually consider running on search and destroy is bling, um, marathon and sleight of hand. Sleight of hand for the quicker reload and the aim down sight benefit. Marathon pro to get into the, uh, well like I said a minute ago, to get into them quicker like this. This is a good example of using marathon. Right up into them, taking them out as quick as I can. And with st um, a silent stopping power, Tar 21, it's really easy. And bling, there's only one gun I would actually consider using bling on, and that is the ACR. Uh, with a red dot, it's really accurate, and uh, it really helps. And silencer is just really key on certain destroy. I don't know why people don't use it normally, but some people don't and use a red dot. It just gives you away on uh, soft core. My kill streaks are UAV, Canty UAV, and Predator. Um, I use UAV and Canty UAV because it really benefits your team out when playing Search and Destroy. Um, I use the Predator because there's no point running a sit precision airstrike or the Harrier because it doesn't, there's no, it doesn't, the match doesn't last that long. Um, I know most people right now will be rushing to get the bomb, but because I know there's a minute left and he's around me, uh, I just take my time. Just take my time and I get the kill. And <laughs> some people asking what does Ninja do, Ninja Pro do, which is pretty funny. And some guy replies, it makes cheese. So that was pretty funny to watch. Um, yeah, lag spikes. The hosting system is still horrible. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have um, read this or heard about this recently. Activision are considering making the Call of Duty series or Call of Duty titles uh, subscription based which unless they are planning to make a lot more stuff for this game it's a really bad idea my personal opinion um, I want to talk about those orange walls on high rise they are uh, penetratable without FMJ it's almost the same as the walls on um, a sub base which I talk about in one of my earlier or well, my first commentary. 
Um, with the Tar 21, you want to really burst fire it or tap the fire trigger. Um, this is where you get a two on one clutch. Um, this is really coming up to the end. I get a guy and call me uh, a camper for staying in the same spot. It's not really camping on search and destroy. If you know there's two people left and it's 1v1, take your time unless you really like uh, 30 seconds and try and get the bomb planted. Um, comment, rate and subscribe and have fun playing Modern Warfare 2. Goodbye.